In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. I've come to those joining us through the internet also. There'll be extra candle in the altar rails from yesterday. We're blessed for peace. We'll have it there for the month of January. And Pope Francis has asked us to join up looking for a vaccine for war, you know, for a vaccine for the COVID-19, a vaccine for war, and the damage it does. It's a failure of humanity that we can't find ways of resolving our differences without warfare. Let's acknowledge our sins. Today is also St. Basil and Gregory, uh, 300s, uh, 4th century. Uh, two of the Cappadocian fathers who gave us, tried to express in strong terms um, uh, the Blessed Trinity. Basil also um, the wrote the, the rule of St. Basil for monks, so St. Uh, Benedict in the West, he, he used some of the ideas, but St. Basil rule was still in, uh, with us today. Um, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christa eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to give light to your church by the example and teaching of the bishops, Saints Basil and Gregory, grant, we pray, that in humility we may learn your truth and practice it faithfully in charity through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. <clears throat> letter. We'd some of it last week, but also particularly this week, we're going to hear more of it. It's different style, very different style, St. John's letter as opposed to St. Paul's letters. So you, you, hear, uh, you hear a different way of expressing uh, the truths of our faith. Remember John the Eagle, who he sees little movements in the grass that others have missed. A reading from the first letter of St. John. The man who denies that Christ Jesus is a, he, who denies that Jesus is a Christ is a liar. He is Antichrist, and he is denying the Father as well as the Son, because no one who has the Father can deny the Son, and to acknowledge the Son is to have the Father as well. Keep alive in yourselves what you were taught in the beginning. As long as what you were taught in the beginning is alive in you, you will live in the Son and in the Father. And what is promised to you by his own promise is eternal life. That is all that I am writing to you about the people who are trying to lead you astray. But you have not lost the anointing that he gave you, and you do not need anyone to teach you. The anointing he gave teaches you everything. You are anointed with truth not with a lie, and as it has taught you, so you must stay in him. Live in Christ then, my children, so that if he appears, we may have full confidence and not turn from him in shame at his coming. The word of the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. 
has shown his justice to the nations, as he has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord all the earth, bring out your joy. We stand. Alleluia. At various times in the past, and in various different ways, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. But in our own time, the last days, he has spoken to us through his Son. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. This is how John appeared as a witness when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who are you? He not only declared, but he declared quite openly, I am not the Christ. Well then they asked, are you Elijah? I am not, he said. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. So they said to him, who are you? We must take back an answer to those who sent us. What have you to say about yourself? So John said, I am as Isaiah prophesied, a voice that cries in the wilderness, make a straight way for the Lord. Now these men had been sent by the Pharisees and they put this further question to him. Why are you baptizing if you are not the Christ and not Elijah and not the prophet? John replied, I baptize with water, but there stands among you unknown to you the one who is coming after me, and I am not fit to undo this, his sandal strap. This happened at Bethany on the far side of the Jordan where John was baptizing. Gospel of the Lord. As I mentioned, St. Basil, St. Gregory, and the other St. Gregory, Gregory of Nyssa, uh, Gregory, uh, and the three of them were called Cappadocian fathers at part of Asia Minor. Now, they, they were trying to put in strong terms, reliable terms, our faith, and it's obviously the scriptures give us descriptions, not strong academic terms but obviously there are times when we require it to understand so that we don't misunderstand who the Blessed Trinity is and so we have to the first letter uh, Jesus being strong asking if you deny that Jesus is the Christ and then uh, he's denying the Father as well as the Son so you see uh, Jesus, Christ, the Son, all these different terms flowing one into the other. And if you deny the Son, then you're denying the Father, which is impossible. You know, they would all agree with this. But St. John insisting that the Son is the Son of the Father. And so then having to, you know, this is where Gregory uh, and Basil then use strong academic terms to understand the the threeness of God and the oneness of God uh, 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 so that we don't misunderstand. There's times, obviously, when uh, we, we speak of God as one and there's times when we have to recognize God as three, but they're not one, one side and the other. They obviously flow one into the other, the truths of our faith and Possibly today's world, it's, it's easier to go from the threeness of God to the oneness of God. I suppose in um, earlier days, it may have been easier to go from the oneness of God to the threeness of God. But I think today's world, we can understand, uh, that given that we're asked to share in the life of God, uh, then it's easier to understand the threeness of God, then, which is then leading us to the oneness of God. Somebody sitting here might come up with a better way of describing the Blessed Trinity, and that's fine. Uh, but we're used to saying there's uh, three divine persons, 
one nature, the divine nature, and the truths of the, all the Father Ruth and gives us the Son perfectly from all et- from beyond eternity, uh, and and then the the love between the Father and the Son is so strong. We call that love a person, the person of the Blessed Trinity, uh, and it's a perfect unity, but Bob is also perfect threeness as well. So we, when we hear the Blessed Trinity, we we are we are, we know that we are monotheists, believe in one God, but that oneness of God is is also to be understood in terms of the threeness of God, as we revealed in the coming of Christ and the sending of the Holy Spirit. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice endures may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of Saints Basil and Gregory a means to our eternal salvation. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as in the festival of St. Basil and Gregory, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of their holy lives, teach her by their words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to their prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts are brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave a chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. Here's a blanket. 
the mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognize the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Granted, we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, we become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Basil and St. Gregory, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity a pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. In our bubbles, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. We proclaim Christ crucified, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Those joining us on the internet, I believe that active spiritual communion is appearing on your screens.
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm an increased strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Saints Basil and Gregory, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May I make God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit go forth the Mass is ended. <laughs>